When I think of Formula E, I think of the late, great Martin Hines on a really hairy go-kart. Not the same, though, is it? Well, it's, it's similar in that you've got a lot of power for the weight that you've got. And these cars are going are gonna to have no limit on the power of the electric motors. One of the things that's really exciting about Formula E, it's a real open book in terms of the regulations, just a limit on the mass of the batteries. So the car which you'll see on our stand, just opposite F1 down the road, it's a standard weight for an, a Le Mans prototype car, but it has over 850 horsepower. And that, for a 1,000 kilo race car, that's a lot of power. But with an electric motor, you get all of that torque at zero revs. And so it's like a real bang in the back of you from that, that power coming on so quickly. So you guys have joined forces with Lola, um, yeah. and they've um, been there, done it, and won it, haven't they? They know how to build a racing car. Just describe what's involved. What's the car, excuse me, what's the car like? Well, it's... Um, taking all of the new technology that there is from motorsport and applying it to making an electric car go as fast as possible. So Lola have been making racing cars for over 50 years using state-of-the-art aerodynamics, state-of-the-art composite technology. So it's got movable surfaces. So on the straights, you put the wings down, reduces the drag of the car so it goes even faster. As you get into the braking zone, use the paddle shift behind the steering wheel to select the aero. That puts the wings up on the dive planes at the front. It puts the wings up at the back to give you the downforce to make the corner. But only if you remember. Yeah, you have <laughs> to make sure you do that before you go in. It's very exciting. And uh, what sort of championship can we expect? How many rounds? Where are, the, where are we going to be racing? Where are we going to be seeing these cars race? So this is a, a new championship, which is going to be all street races. So... You're going to see them at sort of global cities. I hope to have one here in the UK, in, in London. All around the world, but using street tracks, because that's possible, because the cars are a bit quieter, to really showcase the, the performance and the technology inside the, the, the cities. I suppose it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity to bring in young engineers, people who, who it's on a clean sheet of paper, really, no pun intended, to, to, to get people involved. Because it is the future, isn't it? Even yeah. if we're in denial about whether, the, uh, whether fossil fuels will, will die out, this is the future. That's absolutely right. I mean, there's, electric cars are not going to replace the internal combustion engine, but they're going to be a very important part of the market. So for young people thinking about their careers, really get involved in this technology because this is the future. It's one of the fastest growing sectors in the world today. There's a shortage of engineers and technicians who know about this stuff, and it's a real opportunity to get ahead. Come down to our stand, see the car, get involved in this area because I think Formula E is a really new growth opportunity for motorsport as a whole. You have to sort of change people's perceptions, don't you, about it? Because to the untrained eye, it's not sexy. The technology is not sexy. Oh, People I want racing cars to be loud and smelly. But this, and come and look at this car. It's a really sexy car. The sound is going to be different. But take Le Mans this year, probably the best race we've seen for like a, a generation yeah. between the Audis and the Peugeots. When you heard those cars go past, they're really quite quiet because of the turbo diesels. But it was a fantastic race, a real spectacle. It's yeah, going to be true. a different yeah. sound. It's going to be more like a jet sound than the sort of a throb of a V8 or, or a, a V6. But I think people will get to love it, but it's going to be different. How many cars have Lola built then? And, and how many are you going to be running? And, and how many have committed to the championship? So this is the first car, it's a prototype. We're going to be testing it all through this year, proving the systems and so forth. There's a, a bid process which is taking place at the moment, people competing to supply cars into the championship. You can expect a championship of about eight rounds, I think, uh, in uh, the first year. And the, the impression we get that there's been more interest in this than a lot of people expected. One of the most successful responses to an FIA bid competition that there's ever been. Are you going to be driving? Because you've done a lot of GT racing and some prototype racing. Do you fancy a go? I really do fancy a go. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, quite a bit of the development driving on the car this year. Um, but we want to get you know, top professional drivers into this series. Um, and so for, for drivers who are interested in participating, really come and talk to us uh, on the Drayson Racing stand. I guess once it takes off, you'll be too busy running it, won't you? to be that's, driving. That, well, that's the focus for me. I'm doing this as a business. Um, I love my racing. Uh, and 
uh, really fascinated as an engineer, as a science engineer in the development of this technology. I want to ensure that this is as successful as possible in terms of both as a series and as a business. And isn't Autosport International a wonderful place to launch something like that? I was just talking to people earlier, it, it really shows how British motorsport engineering leads the way. The industry is very, very strong. I, I, as you know, I was science minister for uh, a number of years. And one of the things which has really given me tremendous pleasure is that when I started this project and went out looking for the best technology in the world to build an electric car, it's all here in the UK. That's a 90% British uh, car over on our stand. And that's because the UK leads the world in motorsport. Here at the Autosport Show, you have the latest technology. And that technology is not just great for racing. It has applications in lots of other markets, aerospace, defense, marine, clean energy. These are all areas which use the, the know-how that the British motorsport industry has. We have the best engineers in the world working here in Motorsport Valley. And, and I think it's a tremendous industry to be involved in. Here, here. Uh, we wish you well. Uh, best of luck with the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Drayson. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Paul.